During the time period from 1750 through the early 1760s, before the American Revolution, and before the 13 colonies came together to form the United States, each colony's government was formed according to one of three different legal models, royal, charter, and proprietary colonies. By 1752, the colonies of Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, New Jersey, New York, Massachusetts, and New Hampshire were royal or crown colonies. In a royal colony, the ruling monarch of England appointed a royal governor and council. The governor and council administered the government of that particular colony. The king's government had direct control and authority over the royal colonies. Most of these colonies had a two-house legislature. The council formed the upper house and the lower house was elevated. The royal colony's representative assembly was elected by the people. Two of the 13 colonies, Connecticut and Rhode Island, were charter colonies. The King of England granted the charter. It gave permission to settlers to establish a colonial government. The charter established the rules under which the colony was to be governed. King Charles II granted Connecticut a royal charter in 1662 and Rhode Island in 1663. The colonists in charter colonies had the right to elect their governors and both houses. Because charter colonies were governed by the citizens of the colony, they were less subject to British rule and enjoyed many more liberties than colonists in royal or proprietary colonies. Many royal colonies began as charter colonies, but had their charters taken over by the crown. Delaware, Maryland, and Pennsylvania were proprietary colonies. In a proprietary colony, the British crown granted a province to proprietors. A proprietor could be an individual or a group authorized to settle the province at their own expense. The proprietors owned the land and were granted full rights of self-government. Proprietors appointed governors and had the authority to establish courts, develop towns, and collect land taxes to recoup their investment. By 1752, a representative form of government was established by all of the colonies. Each colony had its own history and developed in different ways. However, despite these differences, common features and patterns emerged in their governments. Colonial governments consisted of a governor, a council, and an assembly or house of representatives. Local governments varied from colony to colony. However, throughout the colonies, there was widespread participation in local community governments. These town meetings were a direct form of democratic rule, where each citizen had a voice. <laughs>